Our stories, the impact that residential school had on our lives, are both different and yet they're the same, in that we each have a personal connection to the residential school experience. To my fellow survivors here in the room and those watching elsewhere, like at Muscochis, and those who could not join us today, I cannot give enough thanks to you. Thank you for your courage and bravery. Courage and bravery throughout this journey. Without that and without your voice, we cannot define or inform reconciliation. We have listened very carefully to many courageous individuals in our search for truth. Our spirit cannot be broken. This was the one recurring message that stood out to me throughout the public hearings, the essential step of returning to spirituality through our languages, cultures, and land. I think the report was really awesome. Uh, it was a good report uh, as to whether we have to make sure that this happens, like with the government following through also. Uh, I, I, I have a kind of hesitancy there as to whether or not it, they will do what they're supposed to do. And I am a, I am a survivor uh, of Shingwak Residential School. I was there for seven years. And um, yeah, it, I don't know. It, it's uh, I just hope and pray that everything, everything that they said will follow through. If it does, then we're going to have a good country. <laughs>